subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon for new video notifications hello guys welcome to automation studio in this tutorial we are going to see how to test a mobile web app over on the private mode so we are going to see this tutorial over on ios simulator so as we know like in the ios simulator the safari is a default mobile browser so we are going to uh, see this tutorial over on safari using ios simulator so here is the agenda what we are going to cover so we are going to open safari on ios simulator then uh, we are going to navigate to the private mode and once the private mode is ready then we are going to open the web app which we want to test over on the private mode of safari so this will be a short video but uh, this trick may be helpful for you guys when you want to test a mobile web app over on private mode so how to achieve this situation so in this case this video may help you so let's see this so here is my simulator ready and I'm going to try over on the APM desktop server so that is also uh, running now let's move to Eclipse so here is the class what I have already prepared so if you have seen my earlier video uh, in my earlier video I have shown like how to open a mobile web app using uh, APM if you haven't watched it please uh, go ahead and watch it so I'm using the same capability over here and uh, uh, by using this capability uh, I am opening my uh, Yatra website over on Safari so let's uh, run this code so what this code will do it will launch the uh, Yatra website on uh, iOS Safari mobile browser on a normal mode once it will load then we will see how we can open on private mode so this is the button available for the private mode let's click on that here is the private mode let's click and then click on done so it will launch the private mode uh, window and here we need to suppose to execute our test case so let's achieve it through our code so let me restart this over again so how many uh, actions we have done so uh, we have click on this button and then click on the private mode and done so I have already find out those IDs using the iOS inspector so if you want to know you can watch my previous video where I have shown you how to find it now let me find first what is the current current view so let me put the SOP statement and let me call the method apm dot get context so it will give me the current view and now here uh, let me find out all the view in a set so I will use apm dot get context handles it will give me a set of a string uh, nothing but a collection of views so I can iterate it within a for loop and then one by one I can check the view name and uh, within the if block I can say if the my particular view will match with the native keyword or contains the native keyword then just click on the private mode button and then perform actions whatever I want 
so let's add the code here I have already find the elements for that so yeah this particular steps will do that so these are the three simple steps what it will do it will click on the private mode button then it will click on private key uh, text and uh, this one and the uh, last one is the done button so that's what it will do so if you are able to see like this so I have added this now what I will do now once the private mode is launched then again I will launch the URL on that because again it, it will it will open a new a new window on the private mode so let's try so it's running now so it should restart it yes it's restarting the execution so first it will open in a normal mode and it will load the Yatra website and now it will click it will switch to native view because we need to click on this button yes now it will click on private mode and then it will click on done and once this launch then it will launch the Yatra website perfect so yes we have achieved this scenario using this code so this is how you can achieve this uh, particular scenario guys uh, this is a short video I hope you like this video if you like then please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share with your friends I will see you in next video soon bye bye take care